Lovers, welcome back to another video. So today, as you can see in the title, I will be doing a What Am I Clarinet Case? A lot of you guys have been asking me when I'm going to come out with this video because a lot of you guys wanted to see this. And now I'm doing it. Before we get into the video, don't mind the noise in the background. into the video make sure you like subscribe to my channel comment down below more videos that you want me to do during vlogmas and hit the post notification bell so you will not miss a day of my videos and you'll be notified every single day i post yo i've really been so consistent and i'm really so proud of myself because like this is really really hard to do and anybody that's doing vlogmas good job that's all i'm gonna say is well done because this is hard it is a struggle but we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta be consistent. And y'all want videos that I'm giving. So first we're gonna start off with the outside of my instrument case. And this is what it looks like for anybody that does not know. This is a BAM clarinet case. And this is what it looks like. I have a name tag with my phone number and my first and last name. For the stickers on the front, I'm trying to put places that I've gone or that I'm a part of so or just like my dream places so like for instance I have um Yola National which is a summer festival camp which is in LA and then I have Van Dorian I love Van Dorian brand I love the reeds three and a half is what I get blue box and then I have the Hollywood Bowl um I've been to Hollywood LA and Malibu so I just have a sticker lastly I have a Peabody sticker and Peabody is actually my first top school so yeah so when opening my case up I have two straps just for safety measures and then we're going to unzip it this is the inside of my instrument like I said is a BAM clarinet case and um BAM is design in France. Definitely go check BAM cases out because they have really good instrument cases. Violin, bass cases, viola cases, clarinet cases, just everything. And when you do go to them, tell them that I sent you out so I can get a little, you know, a little promotion or whatever. Promote cases, you know. Alright y'all, so this is the inside of my case and I'm just going to start going through what I have exactly in my case so we're going to start with this little department that i have it's like just a little department that you put your reeds your pencil just anything that you really want in this case and so i have what i have in this small department is my literature that i use and i have my bag y'all my department i have my ligature then i have um this is not corkery this is actually um lip balm i gotta be really careful with having lip balm along with cork greases within my case because i don't want to get them mixed up and accidentally put cork grease on my lips and lip balm on my instrument so i gotta be really really careful the reason i do have lip balm in my case is because when i'm done playing my lips get really really chappy and when i keep licking them they eventually become sore and I have two pencils in here. I have a mechanical one and just a regular pencil. And then I have my reeds. The reed that I have and that I have been using is three and a half Ricardo Morales reeds that he designed. And this is what it it comes with. This it comes with in a box. And then within the box, it's like this. It looks like this. It looks like this. Try to zoom in. I don't know if you can see the RM, but yeah. Hold on, actually. Okay, there we go. So three and a half, and it says RM Ricardo Morales. Lastly, in the little small section, I have an extra mouthpiece just in case you never know what's gonna happen. Yo, this instrument is really, really heavy. It's probably because I have both instruments in here. But I have 
a swab. This is a buffet swab, I think. Yeah. Champion Pure swab for my two instruments. Then I have my A clarinet right here. This is my A clarinet. My mouthpiece is right here. I use a BD5. And then I have my B flat clarinet right here. I have three barrels and I'm going to walk you through each one. So the first barrel I have is a Yama. And it looks like this. I pronounced it a Yahama, and my parents corrected me. Let me go check. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. It is right. It's a Yahama, so I got it right. For this barrel, I use this barrel when I'm playing any solos um, for my solo performances because what happens is when I use different barrels, I tend to go sharp on the higher octave, so this basically makes it flatter. So this is like, this barrel will make it really flat. Next, I have my A clarinet bureau. It looks like this. You can't really see. Lastly, I have this bureau. It looks like this. And this bureau makes you sharp. So I have a bureau that makes you flat and a bureau that makes you sharp. So I like to switch my bureaus around, but I don't usually like, I like to switch between these two, but I don't really like playing sharp. So I. This is my favorite barrel to use because it stops me from playing a high, high D and it being really out of tune and being sharp. Basically, as a clear player, I'd rather be flat than be sharp. I would use this barrel for band when I'm in school. And yeah, something like that. Lastly, inside the case, I have this little container. I don't even know what this is, honestly. It's just a little container. Inside, there's a little binder clip. And I usually have it to um, clip my music to my stand if it's like windy or something. And then I have these thumb protectors and they go in your thumb because I don't know if you can see this print, but like I sometimes get bruises, I guess you would say, from um, an instrument when I place my thumb under. So it basically uh, protects you. Now I'm going to close the case up and I have a back department that I'm going to go into next. So first I have this little pocket and let's actually see what's inside. I'm actually intrigued because I don't go in here unless I get my clarity stand. So we're going to see together what I have in here. Oh, I have a BAM little envelope. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's just like a BAM little. I think it came with the um, case. So, I have this stored inside the case. I also just found two reads that I did not even know about. So, that's really good. And lastly, we have this last big section in the back to go through. Let's see what's in here. Yo, this is how it opens, by the way. If you want to make the uh, book bag bigger, then you can make a zip or you can have it bigger like this. But we're going to see what's in this pocket. I just wanted to show you guys how much storage that this has. It's a really big pocket and it's not even full yet. Okay, so in this pocket, I have two masks that I can wear while I'm playing. And it basically unzips. You can wear it, you wear it like this. I got a hand on. And then. And your mouthpiece it goes in here while you're playing. I use this during COVID, so I really, I'm really, I haven't used this since like 2020, 2021 ish. These are still good to wear because anytime I need it, then they're available. I have a backup swab, which is just like less fancier, it's just a backup one. I have my clarinet stand that I use when I'm playing both my B flat and my A clarinet and it basically works like this. You take it out and I just twist it right in. And you just sit your bell right on it. Then I have two mini reed cases. This is a Van Dorian reed case and it looks like this. It has two sides and this also has two sides. And I don't know what brand oh this is a Rico case. And I labeled um, reads 
Also, going back to reads really quick, guys. Make sure you guys label your reads for any clarinet players. Make sure you label one. So if you get a box of reads and there's 10 in a pack, make sure you go through all of them and um, label them 1 through 10 so you can know which ones work the best and you know which ones to rotate between, etc. Next, I have two extra ligatures. They look like this. I have a backup mouthpiece for my backup mouthpiece. So yeah. This is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the post notification bell so you will not miss a day of my videos and you'll be notified every single time I post. Stay tuned for Vlogmas number five. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>